Hi everyone, I thought I would film my May favourites outside today, but I did just feel a drop of rain. So let's see if I can talk about all the things I loved last month before the thunderstorms that were forecast rain down upon me. So at the beginning of May, Miss M and I went to the Lake District for a week, which was definitely a favourite. We did lots of walks. I'll insert some pictures here. One of our favourites to do is from Grasmere up to East Del Tarn, then to Blair Rig. So we did that walk and then lots of other walks besides. If anyone is interested and needs walking recommendations, you can always message me and I will be happy to oblige. On the way back from the Lake District, we decided to stop off, stop off at Tatton Park. We wanted to break the drive back from the Lake District to London, but also we wanted to to make the best use of our National Trust memberships which were gifted to us for our wedding which was over a year ago now so the membership is now expired and I can't believe that that was over a year ago now but anyway we stopped off at Tatton Park which we had never been to before and it was so beautiful and I would highly recommend it if you happen to either live nearby it which I'm sure you will have been to if you live nearby it or if you're traveling past it. If you have National Trust membership, you get in at a reduced fee, you still do have to pay, unlike a lot of National Trust places where if you have the membership, it's absolutely free. But this place is absolutely huge and it was just lovely to wander around and they have what is considered to be the best Japanese garden in Europe and again I'll insert some pictures here if you want to look around the garden you have to go on a guided tour and they do those every Wednesday afternoon and Saturday afternoon otherwise you can peer into it but if you want to have a proper explore then you have to be taken around and it costs like two pounds next on the favorites list I got to see a copy of Franklin and Luna and the book of fairy tales in the flesh for the first time so this is a proof the book is coming out in September so the finished book will be hardback Everything you see in white will be foil, so it'll look really beautiful like the first two books. This is the third in the series, I Do The Words, Katie Harnett does the pictures. So in this book, it's Franklin's birthday. He's turning 606, he thinks his friends have all forgotten, they haven't sent him any gifts, but actually, everyone in the village is planning a surprise. So Luna distracts Franklin by taking him to a bookshop out of town, and it's there that Luna's tortoise, Neil Armstrong, opens a book he's not supposed to open, a book of fairy tales in fact and get sucked inside and Franklin and Luna have to dive in and save him and they have to work their way through the book of fairy tales to get out the other side. They meet lots of different characters along the way, not all of whom are friendly. It's all about the joys and dangers of getting lost inside a good book. Another favorite this month was that my mum-in-law took me to a trio of ballets, three short ballets at the Royal Opera House and I loved it. I th I've seen three short ballets before. It was an interpretation of three Virginia Woolf books and each of those was I think about 25 minutes long. This was a similar thing but they were completely different ballets. So one of them was called Golden Hour and was inspired by flowers. One of them was a retelling of Medusa and one of them was inspired by the refugee crisis and was really harrowing and moving. And they were each about half an hour long and then there was a break in between. And I think I love going to see that more than a long narrative ballet, unless it's Matthew Bourne, because I love him dearly. Um, yes, so I would really recommend keeping an eye out because the Royal Opera House have been doing a lot of those recently and you can get really cheap t tickets. I know that Jean went the week after we went and got a seat that had slightly restricted viewing for three pounds, which is pretty incredible for the Royal Opera House. So I will link down below, keep an eye out because they have lots of really interesting experimental things going on. Then what else this month? Oh, okay. Last month in my favorites video, I included hats and I did a video also where I talked about alopecia and wearing headscarves and hats. Um, as with anything, when you start wearing something new, you're trying to find your style. I think I've decided what I like doing and it's wearing those hats but then wearing a headscarf over the top, so wrapped around and tied because it gives more volume. So in my favorites this month, I have a few headscarves that I've picked up. So first off, I picked up these at Beyond Retro, which is in Shoreditch. Jean and I had a rummage through this huge box of headscarves and these were about three pounds each. Then I picked up two from Lush, which are really big and also a cotton, which means I can wear them on their own wrapped up because I find silk scarves on their own they slip and they slide but these I can wear as opposed to wearing both of these I can wear them on their own so this one is beautiful it's this huge poppy one um, and then I also have this um, which I need to unwrap but it's got a fox on one side and a badger on the other side and these can be worn as headscarves but I think primarily Lush have them because they want you to buy bath bombs and you can put them in and wrap them up 
uh, into a knot but I love these and I think these were about four or five pounds each and then yesterday which I know is creeping into June but I'm going to include it in my May favourites I went to Brighton with Jean for the day self-care day because I've been working a lot of weekends recently and so is Jean so we decided that we were going to take a day where it would be quieter so a weekday and go to Brighton and go explore and we had a lovely time and let me just reach over I uh, bought a few things in Brighton. I bought these dungarees because Lucy and Yak have a store in Brighton. It's the only store that exists. They opened recently. So I bought these dungarees. Let me show you the pattern. They're very cool. And I also picked up these dungarees, which are the same shape, but in this color. And these are really like cotton because the other dungarees of theirs that I have are corduroy, which are great for the winter, but it's, it's warm now. So I was very pleased to pick up some of these. And I also picked up three headscarves. I think they're really, oh, four, because I'm wearing one. This one, this one, this one, and this one, which will be great for autumn because it's very autumnal colors. And I picked those up at a place called To Be Worn Again. They had so many amazing vintage shops there and those were three pounds each as well. So I, as soon as I got home last night, I washed them so they're all smelling nice and lovely and I already have one on because I love them very much. And I also bought this in Brighton, which is a hand-painted tin mug. And I can't remember where I got it and it doesn't have um, a name on it anywhere, but it was in a little shop in the lanes. Every time I drink out of this, I shall think of Brighton. Final few favorites. A restaurant I loved is one that Jean introduced me to and Lauren and I went with her recently. It's a vegetarian restaurant near Oxford Circus. It's called Ethos. It's a buffet style restaurant and you pay by the weight of the food on your plate. So it's really good and you can get totally overexcited by the amount of food that they have out. I'll insert some pictures here. Another favorite, I went to see Aladdin. I didn't have really high expectations. And yes, Will Smith is not Robin Williams, but it's actually really good fun. Plus Jasmine has a great new song in it and they changed it a little bit so that she really wants to be sold in. It's about her trying to get the job that she wants. And I really enjoyed that element of it. And my final favorite is working for the Royal Dahl Museum, which I've been doing this week. I went there during half term to run some workshops and I've never been there before. It's in Buckinghamshire. So if you're nearby or you find yourself nearby, I recommend heading along if you enjoyed Roald Dahl books when you were younger or you have a child of your own who enjoys Roald Dahl books now they have different rooms for different books and they also have his writing hut there with all of his memorabilia in which they have moved piece by piece so that was great and I loved running Franklin and Luna workshops there that was brilliant I can feel drops of rain now, actual drops of rain. So I'm gonna wrap this video up. Let me know how you are in a comment down below. I hope you're all having a great week and I will see you very soon. Lots of pictures up. <laughs>